Then with Media Watch on the latest show of Karen Hay, we talked about that epic U.S. broadcasting deal. Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I thought since I was down here in my workshop, I kind of got things cleaned up. I got the antennas hooked up now. I try Big Bertha. This is my Grundig Satellite 800. This is still my best shortwave receiver. Um, and see how it does with Sync Detect. It has Sync Detect also. This is pretty old vintage radio. And right now we're uh, got a station on 7.245. Uh, the S meter is holding pretty steady. So I may not be able to see any improvement. Let's turn the volume back up and let you listen. Unfortunately, you can't probably see the S meter very well because number one, the backlight stopped working, and number two, I got already. A lot of reflections in this room. Let me hold up my hand up here. Here we go. It's pretty steady. It's about S7 to S9. Okay, let's try Sync Detect. We'll turn the volume back up without it. The press Association called on Israel to open the Gaza crossing to allow the media in to support AP and El Mawira. The Palestinian Center for Development and Media Freedom said they had recorded 60 Oh. Don't like that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Sound like a cow. But has New Zealand had anything to say about this? New Zealand's Media Freedom Committee is not very active, so don't hold your breath. But while Foreign Minister... I can't tell any difference. Turn it off. Statement, she said nothing about the targeting of the media. However, just two months ago, New Zealand joined a partnership of countries... Now, for me... The audio volume went down under Sync Detect. Now, the bandwidth, which is indicated right here, which is a 6, did not change, unlike the text. So this didn't seem like the audio got any worse under Sync Detect like it did on the text. Try it again. That's because the UK and the other countries have had to tiptoe around Israel diplomatically. It does raise the question, what's the point of a multinational alliance backed by nation states to defend the media if they can't or won't the diplomatic reasons? Turn it off. Well, that's all we've had for you in Media Watch this weekend, but we'll be back again with more on the media at about 10.30 next Wednesday night with Midweek Media Watch, talking to Karen Hay on the latest show. And then so on that particular Watch. signal, it didn't seem to help much. That's a strong signal. Let me see if I can quickly find another one. That's a really strong signal. Where's a weak signal when you need one? There's a weak signal. That's way down there. Sounds like a preacher man. So let's see if Sync Detect helps. Whoa! It's locking in. <laughs> yeah, don't like that. Change uh, upper sideband. There we go. Didn't like lower sideband. And the signal is. I don't hear any audio at all. It's turned off. I hear the audio, but I hear noise. Turn it back on here. That's making it worse. When I turned on Sync Detect, the audio just disappeared and the noise level went up. So that that's no improvement. 
So I'm not too impressed with seeing detect on this satellite 800. Like I said, my old Sony 2010, it worked and it worked well. It's the only radio that I know that it worked on. And back then, they had, I think they had a patent or a copyright or whatever on that algorithm so nobody else could use it. Try it one more time, then we'll quit. Off. Off. On. Now it did seem to bring the signal level up, but it also brought the noise level up. Now, in this configuration, I'm using my 31-foot vertical antenna. So that's what I'm using for an antenna for this Grundig Satellite 800. I don't know, what do you think? I'm just, I'm not impressed with these, after the Sony came out with it, these other companies trying to duplicate it. It just doesn't seem to work. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.